Hi, I'm Krister. And I'm Jacqueline. This is Lab 10, our TA is Zuzana, and we're Section A. So right now we're doing part A of the lab on physical and power characteristics. We're measuring output power versus drive current in the integrating sphere with our LED right now. As you can see, Krister is adjusting the amount for the current, and then we're reading the power. Now Krister is repeating 1A for the laser diode. We measured the output power versus input current for the LED and the laser diode. For the LED, we got a much higher output power than the LD. We got something on the order of milliwatts with the LED and something on the order of microwatts for the laser diode. In this part, we set a one kilohertz square wave as our frequency generator, uh, and then we went ahead and rotated through the full angle here on this detector, and we're able to measure the different peak values here. We measured the beam profile of the LED and the LD. The beam profile of the LED was a very wide Gaussian looking beam. And then for the LD, there was one wide axis and then one very small axis. All right, to set up this lab, we made sure that the first lens or the light was collimated with the first lens. We basically placed a piece of paper here, moved this so we got a nice image back here. Uh, then we made sure that the light was fully uh, imaged on the SI detector back here, and that we, then we turned on the chopper to 100 hertz. Now we're gonna remove the pinhole and basically perform the same experiment here. We're gonna rotate the polarizer through 180 degrees and find the peak-to-peak -peak voltage. Putting in the laser diode, we're gonna look at the oscilloscope here. We're gonna read the peak-to-peak -peak voltage as we turn through or turn the polarizer through certain degrees. We looked at the coherence of the LED and the laser diode. When we changed the polarization angle, when we changed the polarizer angle of the LED, there was no change in the output peak-to-peak -peak voltage. But with the laser diode, when we changed the polarizer angle, there was a cosine squared relation that indicated that the output was polarized. So we used the optical spectrum analyzer to analyze the spectrum of the green, blue, and red LEDs, and we found that the the center wavelengths of the red, green, and blue LEDs. And also that the green LED had a much longer range than the red LED. We increased the current in the laser diode, and we saw that before the threshold current, there were multiple modes. And then as we increased the current, a singular mode pops out as the dominant one. But after we increased the current a little bit more, another mode popped out as the dominant mode.